Hey there, Pisces, and welcome to your reading for the week of October 2nd. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Uh, also this week, if you'd like to support the channel, I still have the October reading special uh, at the link at the top of the description below. Um, but this week, let's see, start off with the Three of Diamonds. Be careful with all paperwork, especially if you're doing your taxes. Again, you know, the you know tax extension time is almost up here, so... Um, be careful of all your paperwork there. Be careful of any other legal paperwork that you could be dealing with with, with this card um, because it can just say that there could be um, problems with money. Uh, it is a card that says that if you are already dealing with some money problems or something, that um, communication is your best way out and being upfront and honest is going to save you a, a one in one million problems. So definitely communicate um, from you know, in those situations. Next, uh, you show up here, Queen of Hearts. So that's Pisces all the way. And uh, very good to show up as your own sign. Puts you in a position of strength, position of power. Um, as I've been saying, very fertile time right now. So be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant because this card can represent pregnancy. So be careful of that. But it can also represent the birth of something new. Could be a new relationship, new business, new business idea, or money, money coming in as well. And you do have the Two of Hearts, which is a perfect match. You have some great love cards this week. Pretty much everybody has had really awesome um, love cards this week. Um, so I do think that there is an opportunity for a lot of people to um, find love at this time. But again, this represents a perfect match. Uh, meaning somebody who makes you happy. If you are not single, this card can just represent matching up with a perfect situation like a business, a new job, um, some sort of social event, and, you know, pretty much anything. But it would be something that makes you very happy. So I like to see that. Next, you have the Two of Hearts. I think finally, Pisces, you know, your mind's going in the right direc direction, thinking about things in the right way. This is a card of just having stable thoughts, of thinking, of, you know, about things in the right way, basically. It's like the card of mental stability. Um, it's also a card that can represent adventure, going on some sort of adventure that maybe you didn't expect. Um, you know, it's like the typical Pisces restlessness, right? You know, when we get restless, when we, you know, when things aren't necessarily happening, then we kind of get bored or whatever, and then we do something crazy or we do something unexpected, but I do feel like this could be beneficial for you uh, at this time. So, you know, take that adventure, do whatever you got to do to uh, have fun. Uh, and, you know, yeah, just a good card for that. Next, you have the Eight of Hearts, a card of reciprocal love. And again, a bunch of people have been getting cards like that this this week um, of, you know, being finding somebody that uh, likes you just as much, you know, likes you on the same level. So that's nice. Amazing card for dating. I would say that probably it is a good time for Pisces to date. Um, maybe not commit 100%, but definitely a good time to uh, date and kind of see what's out there and meet people and all this other stuff. This can also represent um, noticing cycles, noticing when a cycle is happening in your life and uh, trying to get out of that cycle, trying to you know, figure out how to put an end to that cycle, or it can just represent change as well. Next, you have the seven of spades. Pay attention to all messages that you are getting at this time. You could be getting a lot of, you know, email messages, text messages, or important messages coming to you for, you know, different situations. It can also represent internal fears that do not exist, so try to let that stuff go. And then finally, you have the ace of hearts, a great card of love again, and it can also represent um, love and your emotions overflowing, being really happy. And on top of all that, you can represent hearing from family or visiting family, going home to visit family, and all those things could be important for you at this time. But looks like a great week here. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't really see anything else. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.